end we've got a couple of really fun jellyfish today it's quite an interesting drawing and it's a really got some good tips for you to use if you've got some watercolors and we're going to do it in watercolor paint so let's go drawing <laughs> Okay, we're going to do three jellyfish here on this piece of paper. So just think about where you want to put them. And I'm going to start with a really um, very gentle curve there. And then a wavy bottom to it. So that's the number one. And if we go with the second one here, we'll just put in another gentle curve. And up here on this side, again, a gentle curve around. There. So that's the first stage. So we've put those three shapes in and uh, then we move on. So now we're going to start putting in these long sort of, I think they're tentacles, I'm not entirely sure. So we'll put these shapes in and start with a middle one of a wavy line coming down and finishing on a little point. And then next to it, another wavy line finishing on a point there. And we'll do the same here, but we're going to take that in like that. So we've got these wavy lines. And with these two bigger ones, we're just gonna make that much bigger. So come about halfway down, really wavy, wobbly line, all the way almost to the bottom of your paper, to a point out. And then we'll take it up to the back there. And we'll have a little one coming off here, like that. And then come out again about the same width as that and then take it in and we'll wave it right out so we're really using the whole sheet of paper then to there so the last one because we're going to come down about just on, under halfway there i'm going to take this one out in a real curve and point and we want three here so We'll take the second one from about there. Think about that shape in the middle there. Curve and point. We'll take that up to there. And then the third one here, we'll just take that out. We'll take it that way. So again, think about the shape between and point it down. So if you pause, I'm popping the tentacles. <laughs> Okay, we're going to finish off on each one by doing a little swirly and I'm going to do this lightly because I want to go over it in my watercolour pencils and we'll do that on each one on each side like that and that one I'm just going to come down like that this one I'm going to take and cross it around there and then on each jellyfish you can put a different pattern I'm going to keep this really simple but do feel free to go crazy you, you're, I'm keeping my very simple um, simple jellyfish. But maybe you could have a Portuguese man of war, or that's the genuinely the only jellyfish uh, breed that I know, so I'm not, I'm not going to try and come up with any others. So quite an interesting little star shape on that one. And on this one, I'm just going to put a few little lines. Now, I'm going to paint this using watercolour pencils. If you want to do something a little bit more exciting, have a look at the painting section on the junior one today because we used crayons and wax resist on that one. It was quite fun, um, but I'm just going to do this in a watercolour pencil because we've got more. Um, if you've got only got felt tips or crayons, whatever, just use whatever you've got, but stick with us and see what I'm doing with the watercolour pencils because it's quite fun. <laughs> a few different techniques here with my watercolour pencils and keeping it really simple I'm just using the three primary colours here so I'm going to do the background of this 
yellow. I don't want too much water because I'm hoping it'll dry very quickly. So I'm just going to really make sure there's not much on my brush there. And I'm going to go around just to give it a little bit. A little bit of a yellow hint. Now, then I'm going to come on to this one here. And I'm going to go around the edges with the blue. I'm just going over my lines here. And I'm going to go around those curves with the blue as well and on these spots. Now, when I come to turn it to paint, if I wanted it to be really dark blue, then I'd just colour the whole of the inside. I don't. I've just put the pigment quite sparingly. So to get the effect of a little bit of paint here, if I just have a slightly damp brush, you see, so I want to keep that pattern. So lots of water on my brush there. I'm just moving it around. But it gets that sort of translucent effect on it there. And I will do the same with this one here. So I'm going to go around the edge. But this time I'm actually going to colour in that little pattern that I put at the top with lots of paint pigment. So I keep talking about paint while I'm colouring in with these pencils. That's because inside the pencil it's actually paint. So I'll use a little brush here and turn that. And being quite accurate. And that's the difference. You can be really... I might actually put a few spots in there as well. I'll just spread the paint around a little bit. And exactly what I did with the blue, just gathering up touches of that red. Can we see just bits? But keeping the star shape intact like that. Now, here on the edges, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave that where I don't touch any paint with it. But on the internal ones, if I come down, I'm going to keep the edges solid. So we've got that effect. But I'm going to just bring the paint in. So we've got that coming down. There, like that. That's where these pencils are really effective in that you can get the edge, but you also, I'm going to do red on this one. You've got the edge, so you retain the shape. But you also um, have the effect of the paint wash as well. So they work really well, I think, with this picture. But what we did with the junior one, if you want to have a look at that, is we went in and we, um, uh, we used a crayon for wax resist and we put the C background in. It was quite it was quite a lot of fun. Elizabeth and I did enjoy that. So I'm going to be careful when I go up to here because the minute I touch that blue, it's just going to mix. So the final one up here, I'm just going to go around it in red, hoping that the yellow is dry. Yes, it has. I'm going to colour in those bits in the middle. Put that bit in. And do that there. Now I'm going to finish off the picture with a few little air bubbles around like that. And if you take your, I'm going to take that my mini brush here for that. I'll just turn a little bit, can you see? Just a little bit on each of them into paint and then I'm going to let that dry. So we would love to see your jellyfish. Make sure you send us your pictures in the comments on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Hope you really enjoyed that and we really, really want to see what you've produced. And try it in different colours, have a go at different things, but please send them to us so we can see it. We're going to stick with the seaside theme tomorrow where we've got a little bucket, spade, starfish, little still life type beach scene going for you. So we will see you anytime from 11 tomorrow. Thank you.